Head of the Drug Squad, Superintendent Rodriguez James, while giving the amount of narcotics seized for the year 2016 and 2017, said that this only makes up between 15 to 20 percent of the actual quantity of drugs brought into the country. For 2016, we would have we seized probably 4,000 pounds of cannabis and about uh, 12 kilos, 12 point something kilos of, of cocaine. There, there is an increase. Yeah, there was an increase as compared with, um, with 2015. I believe one of the reasons for that increase also is that um, we have noticed a, 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 an increase in the amount of drugs, especially cannabis, that is um, being transshipped to places like Trinidad and probably Barbados to a certain extent. Superintendent James, who recently attended the International Drug Enforcement Conference in the Bahamas, said the issue of border control was a major talking point. He said the region can expect an increase in trafficking of cocaine based on new developments taking place internationally. There are enforcement efforts uh, both in the, in the western and the Pacific um, side of the Caribbean. And um, generally speaking, whenever you have strict enforcement measures taken in, in certain areas, you have what you call the balloon effect. So that persons would resort to other areas, other routes, in order to try to get the, um, the drugs into mostly the North American and European markets. With the crackdown on illegal immigrants in the United States, the senior officer says the island must step up its surveillance to respond accordingly. One of the ways of preparing for that is to Take careful notes of the persons who are, who are returning. Take careful notes of the type of crimes that they would have committed in the various countries, whether it be Canada, whether it be the USA. And um, look at the trends. Follow the trends that, um, that uh, is likely to follow as it relates to crimes in Grenada. And we hope that when we combine the two, the persons are returning the type of crime that they are notorious for. And with the trends that we've seen in Grenada, we will have to increase our investigation surveillance of these persons. Nearly two months into the new year, the drug squad has so far confiscated 800 pounds of marijuana. Colin Campbell, GBN News.